Welcome back to Evolution 2017, part of the Capcom Pro Tour. I am James Chen. I'm Sejan. We got some good matches coming up. We've had some good matches all day, all <laughs> EVO long, uh, for every single game. I mean, it's been an excellent yeah. weekend full of it's a celebration of all things fighting games. And upsets and craziness going all over the place. As I mean, usual, I mean, that's just how it has to go. Yep. I mean, it wouldn't be EVO without the upsets. It wouldn't be EVO without the drama, the storylines. Yeah. And uh, we're having some continuing storylines going over here. As you mentioned, Moke, a player not a lot of people knew about. Yeah, I mean, if you open up that Capcom Fighters YouTube channel, you'll see the, the uh, matches from that CPT on Asia Online. This guy's second goes. place only to Kazunoko, who's in winner's top eight himself. Master ranked Rashid player going up against Xiaobao from Taiwan. A Vega player in Taiwan already having an amazing weekend. They defeated Xiao Hai in King of Fighters Grand Finals. It's a big win for them for sure. I mean, for a long time when you thought about Taiwanese fighting game players, it was mostly gamer B, yep. but now there's another generation, all kinds of different players and all yeah. kinds of different games. Super dangerous, but he has been making Vega really count. Uh, yeah. a character a lot of people thought was good in this version of the game for sure. But he definitely got buffed, at least in the recent patch. And he's got a few more little things in here now. So a little few more tricks up his sleeve. But that neutral... Oh, no! Misconfirm, and you got to be able to punch that. Yes, okay. It's always tricky, because the block string on that is always shorter than you think. Oh, my God! Set up from Moke. Oh. What? Wait, wow, what a OS. read. Oh, yeah, throw tech OS. Well, Which, it doesn't work really the way it used to, but... Yeah, I know. That's what I was going to say. Like, I'll, I'll be good. I'm surprised that he would go for that because it doesn't quite have the same potency. But regardless, he got the air throw and he's going to take round number one. Yeah, double down jab just to check him. Get a little bit of chip afterwards. Hmm, raw V skill. When the rolling oh, yeah. in there, yeah, it's not safe, so he had the punish on deck. Oh, no punish on that whiff either. Getting out of there with the Aurora Spin Edge. That rolling, yeah, trying to space it out. No that juggle on that, yeah. I only juggled if he had done the EX, I think. A little bit of damage on that. And now the pressure trying to find the hit. If that medium punch and counter hit, it would have comboed with the EX Tornado. Poking with that stand medium punch, such a crucial button for Vega. Maybe one of the only buttons that can give Rashid any sort of pause from hitting buttons in the mid screen. Set up here, get the neutral jump. Oh, just goes for the throw, and second round goes to Moke. Yeah, the danger in that setup when he does the medium punch mixer and then the neutral jump here is the danger in back rolling is that the button hits you later, so he has even more advantage. What, what a confirm! He's just going to start the round with an ace and go right into the critical art. Yeah, that was huge damage. And not only that, but it's got to be, Moke's got to be like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, but Moke is about to build a lot of me. Oh, he didn't wa he walk. Actually, that was a delayed throw from Xiao Bao. Almost caught him when he walked back forward off the shimmy. Exactly, yeah. Uh, all right, here it is, that setup again, the neutral jump fierce. Yeah, you can see it. If you back roll that setup, you give him even more advantage. So it's very, you know, kind of risky to do. Especially for Vega, who has pretty much no wake up. He tried to anti-air spin edge, it looked like, and it didn't work. Fishing with that roundhouse, almost on V-Trigger is Moke, but he's in danger. He's got very low vitality left. Oh, the low profile, oh that was God. so sick. And Moke so cool. uses the crouching medium kick to go under and get the job done. I would love to take another look at that. That was beautiful. Oh my God, that was so much damage. And you can see Xiaobao there with the, you know, the, hand, the face in the hands. Yeah, really, I mean, I feel like the body language usually tells it all in matches like this, right? Especially so deep in a bracket like Evo. Round one. So back into the game now. There's the throw already in. You know, I really feel like Xiaobao has done well in the neutral, like fighting against Rashid, kind of dealing with his approach, but yeah, that corner pressure is so massive, right? It's so difficult to stop. Very few characters have good options, and Vega's definitely not one of them. Oh, look at this, two throws now. How many is he gonna go for? Oh, no! Mistimed it. He wanted the meaty. Mistimed it, so the wake up light kick from Vega worked. But just right back into the corner, and yeah, that's not a good idea either. Okay, sure now he spends the rose. We'll try to answer here, but it was a no go. Get the juggle out of the air and the damage, real quick. Couple of pierces. 
And Vega was a character who didn't get a lot of damage before, but that is definitely not... Oh, he went for the overhead, but the Wake Up EX Mixer. And guess what? You have to deal with this. He tried to get out of the corner. He couldn't make it. He couldn't get high enough. And Moke is going to be able to convert with the Heavy Spin Mixer. And take that round. He's at match point. Okay, match point now. Huge for him, the jump fears. Only hits on the front, so the walk under. And there's that medium mixer, huge corner carry on that. You can see him runs them all the way over there. Oh, both of them with wake up light kicks. There you see right there, that's that super meaty jump, neutral jump fears. And it pulls them back to the front. You notice that heavy mixer, even if you cross it up, it always pulls you back to the front of this body. So very difficult to escape Rashid, very difficult to escape the corner. Okay, right now, just on point. Oh, how's this corner pressure going? Oh, juggled, because that was the first hit of towards medium punch, which is a knockdown. He caught him, but not going to be able to confirm off of that. And he hit will do it now for Moke. Got to be very careful. Xiao Bao, the buffer, and Moke is going to take it just like that. Xiao Bao is out of the tournament. That deep, deep, deep loses bracket run. All right, and... Uh, Moke looking pretty happy about that one. Also a little tired. <laughs> and I believe that means Moke is made top eight. Is that? I'm, I'm not I'm, sure. I yeah. see it says right there. It says winner to top eight. That's crazy. So Moke is in fact top eight losers bracket at Evo. I think a lot of people expected Moke to do very well in this tournament. Dude, I, I bet you a lot of people were probably even like who didn't know who he was was right. looking at the bracket. Were probably like, who's this Moke fellow? Moke? <laughs> what is a Moke? What's Moke? Yeah, it's probably a Floridian or something. Who knows? <laughs> Moke, never heard of him, but yeah, I mean, if, if you study the tapes, you got to check that guy out. Right. Super. If you want to see more of his gameplay before tomorrow, I mean, on the Capcom Fighters channel, you can check out the CPT Asia Online yep. tournament. He's a super solid player uh, for good reason, obviously. You just saw him make top eight at Evo. Many people talk about the Rashid players in Japan, and a lot of them always talk about Gachikun and Moke as being right. super good, and uh, you can see why. Incredibly strong player. Yeah, but coming up next, there's no place like home. We're going to be clicking two heels together, and that is F-Champ and Wolf Crone coming up. Who is the bigger heel, you think, in this community right now? I mean, Wolf Crone only participates in one community. <laughs> Fair and enough. And Champ Fair participates enough. in, like, 11, but it's still pretty close. So it's hard to say. Uh, yeah, both of these guys, wild ride, the fact that they're both this deep in the bracket. I believe this is another top eight qualifier match. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the rest of them from this point out are all qualifiers. So crazy to think that this is a, a match that's happening this deep in the EVO bracket. I'm not sure who had these guys on their fantasy brackets who had picked them to make it to EVO. <laughs> F Champ, you know, known for other feats, especially at EVO, but he's always been good at Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5, so. And especially the fact that he's even making it this far, you know, with a character like Dalsum who has a lot of big matchups, you know, but. There are some people, I, I don't know, I, I can never tell if he's trolling or not, but I, you know, you yeah. hear guys like Punk say that they think Dalsum's like top five character. Dude, in this version of the game, I think Dalsum's really good. And yes. you talk to Champ, he's actually one of those people that will tell you. You ask him about matchups like Kami, he says, it's fine. Yeah. He asks uh -huh. about Ibuki, oh, it's fine. Yeah. He asks about Laura. It's not that bad. You know, he's that guy who really believes in his character and right. his abilities. So. I mean, you have to. That's the that's the thing, right? There's a lot of people out there who talk about their own character like, man, if only he had these buffs. But because F-Champ sits there and says, you know what? My character's good enough for me to win with. I believe yep. in my character. You are seeing the fruits of that right now. Exactly, yeah. If you don't have belief in your character, it will lead you to your own demise. God, can you imagine f Chip getting in the top eight right now? But you know what? Wolf Chrome wants to get there as well because he definitely wants to uh, probably rub it into some oh, people's boy. noses. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, fireball out of the start. And Champ, it's going to be very important, you know. In this version of the game, it's tough for Dalton to get under a lot of those projectiles that he used to be able to. Wow, look at this yeah, lead. He activates a V-Trigger because he's gotten hit that often. Yeah, and he just wants the, he just wants the threat of the V-Trigger activated. Yep, counter hit there. Filipino you know, champ with the setup. Yep, and again, and you see you see that trade right there? That's not an accident that he traded with an anti air. Filipino champ pretty much counts frames like while he's playing the game. He's like, I know this setup is this many frames. I know this button will work in this set. I mean, right. that's how he played Street Fighter 4. There's no reason why he'd be doing any different here in Street Fighter 5. Exactly, yeah. Really a scientist of some of the highest caliber in the world. And it's a weird for a Dalson player to be a scientist, I feel like, generally, right? <laughs> Yeah, but you can see one of the things, Wolf Chrome's fireball game has been completely shut down. He's so scared to throw him now. He has to rely on getting in like this. No, no conversion off of that. Yeah, activates it. Wolf Chrome out of there with the V reversal. Oh, man. He just knows he's going to come back. After one 
heavy punch. He just Wolfcrone goes in and Filipino champs ready for him. Teleport in place. Wolfcrone expected oh, it to be the, the other so side. Smart. Everyone was thinking, how does Filipino champ get over the fireball? And he went under that time. Nice conversion. Nice confirm. He'll take that room to escape out of there. No ants here from Champ, but the flow. He gets away! He gets away and he's gonna be able to combo off of his B skill. But see, he didn't jump away. He knew that if he was gonna make this read, he's gonna do it with the B skill because then he gets the combo to kill. Oh man. That's genius. Yeah, that was so incredibly smart from Filipino Champ. You know he said it himself, or really mimed it himself there with the, uh, the nods of the head, the logic. It's like, yeah, I'm, I got it figured out. And Wolfcrone, you can see, really trying to decipher yeah. this matchup because Champ is, uh, you know, clearly very prepared for it. Well, and I feel Wolf like there's very few matchups Wolfcrone he's not ready just put for. down his controller. He's thinking. He wants this top eight so bad. You can see how much this means to him right now. And, you know, it's interesting. Uh, I think we were talking about this in the break, or did we talk about this early on? Like, I feel like Laura might have the advantage in the in-game matchup. Yeah. But I feel like Filipino Champ has an advantage in the outside of the game, the out game matchup. Because I think he's just so much better at getting into Wolf Crone's head. He's done it before. Oh yeah. Uh, early in Street Fighter V, they had a that, they yeah. had a they had a first to ten at final round yes. and Filipino Champ was like toying with him and stuff. Yeah, exactly. And, and that's sort of Champ's game, right? And we'll see if he is ready now. It looks like they're getting back into it. And interestingly enough, as much of a heel as uh, F champ is, you see him giving Wolfcone the utmost respect right now. Yeah, so here it is. Gonna go into this match. And we'll see how this goes. Filipino champ. Up 1 0 over Wolfcone here. Yeah, one of the key things really was that he just shut down Wolfcrone's game from across the screen. Wolfcrone felt like he had to get in to do any damage because he couldn't throw any of those uh, the, 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 the fireballs because he just had to stand fierce ready for him the whole entire time. Yeah, he got this weighted right, and that's what will happen. And when you forego a big tool set like that, it's a big deal, right? You see right there. You, you see, Wolfcrone is like, he's trying to bait him into throwing out that heavy punch and finally gets a thunderclap out. Yeah, it's the minute that champ floats that he gives up the ability to stop the thunderclap, right? So that's what you got to be careful about when he commits to the see, float. Yeah, Wolfcrone's trying to whip punish his limbs, but that's why now all of a sudden champ says, you know what, you're trying to whip punish my standing heavy punch, so I'll throw a stand medium punch instead. Right, and the, the kind of mini game here is, look, if you're going to look for my my float, then I'll stay on the ground and, you know, do my buttons, right? But the minute you throw fireballs, I'm going to stuff them. Here's that jumping heavy punch from Paulson. Full arc. Oh, yeah, you know what? It doesn't even knock him down. He's just going to keep you standing up. He's going to not even come in close, not even sweep you with a slide or anything. He's got the B uh, available. There it is. Pops the trigger. And he's cooking. All that life is gone. All the way down to nothing now. So Wolfcrone's jumping back. He's going to try to gain a little bit of life back. Can he do it? Still. Okay, finally started gaining it back. Here comes Wolfcrone. Yeah, can huge EX there. There's the command throw, Wolfcrone's in there. Oh, what a delayed rise Filipino champ knew. <laughs> and you see it right there. A tap to the head said, you know what? I knew he was going to go for that. I knew it. Yeah, it was so prepared. And there it is. That'll be match point now. Filipino champ over Wolfcrone. To get in the top eight. Potentially. Yeah, deep in this loser's bracket here at Evo. Ooh. Yeah, Filipino champ just doing a great job shutting this all down. And see, she can't even really get an advantage. She blocks, but she can't follow the fireball fast enough. Here comes the big damage from F champ. Yeah, finds a frame trap. Filipino champ. Now he's got space to work with. There's the activation, but really, yeah. Champ is too, too aware, you know, he's really ready for this matchup. You can tell he's putting a lot of homework. The slipperiness right now. He is avoiding everything, and Wolfcrone is just having trouble getting any sort of momentum. And I said that, Wolfcrone is such a momentum player. Here we go. Opportunity now. Where that momentum is so important. Filipino champ didn't have the bar to use the Ooh. EX. Could that be the end of the round? Could it all turn around here? The okay, jab. jab out of the air command throw. Here we go. Activates it, any hit'll do it now for Wolfcrone. Does he bet it all? Oh, nice, smart stuff. Get him in the armor. Oh, oh, but the crunching light punch. Filipino champ has taken it over Wolfcrone. Filipino champ 
I mean, if I'm not done. mistaken, he's that's top eight, right? I'm not sure if that's top eight or not, but that is definitely deep in the bracket. With a pop-off like that, you got to imagine. Filipino champ stays alive with Dalsum. I'm sure we'll get the update where that was. Yeah. But, but you know what? I, I, look, I know a lot of people out there, you know, Wolf Crone has gotten that kind of heal status right now. Yeah. And so I'm sure there's enough people out there maybe delighting in his defeat here. But you saw the emotion in between games. You right. saw how much this means to this guy, you know. So I, I really do feel for that guy. He is a lot of passion for the game. So definitely shout outs to Wolf Crow. Both me. of them incredibly yeah. invested, right? And that's so important. And uh, got to give them both props. Making it deep into Evo exactly. here. Incredibly difficult, a difficult road. I mean, exactly. Wolf Crow eliminated by. Okay. So that was not top eight just yet. It uh, looks like he has one more match. And it's Valoran. someone. Yeah, and he's beat Verloren before at final round. He was the person who was messing with my with my, with my predictions at final round. Uh, so. Yeah, but, that makes sense. Well, I mean, every match from now on, I believe, is a yeah. winner's top eight qualifier match. Our first one, the man who's dug all the way through loser's bracket all day, Bonchan, will be playing up against MOV. So. Can you imagine if Bonchan wins this match and makes it in the top eight? He is going to sleep well tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, he is gonna he's got to be, be exhausted. So exhausted. Oh yeah, he's got to be feeling it. You know, crack the back, right. oh, a couple of cans to go. You know, pop a few of those yeah. bad boys. He'll probably drink sleep. like ten Red Bulls and then fall, fall asleep, asleep. In in instantly anyway. Dude. It just yeah, yeah. won't even matter at this point. Oh man. So, that guy uh, has put in so much work, but he has to go up against another top eight finisher from EVO last year. Yeah, That's top eight last year with Chun-Li, Grats, mm -hmm. M-O-V, who's a very dangerous opponent for sure. And I mean, a lot of people were talking about, you know, he was going to pick up Ibuki after mm -hmm. Chun-Li got weaker. And, oh, you know, he played that character at the end of Street Fighter 4 as well, Ibuki. So, you know, people thought about it, but he's really stuck with Chun, both these guys sticking to their guns in season from season one. And you know what? That's kind of almost justice to yeah. see these two guys fighting for top eight sticking with their characters who supposedly had their legs cut off by, yeah. by popular opinion. But you know what? They've stuck with their characters. And here they are. And here they are. And as soon as they play each other, watch, they pick like Balrog versus Yeah, <laughs> Balrog versus Boogie. Boogie. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's where they are at the bracket, and that's how <laughs> they've gotten here. This is a big one. Uh, I'm excited to see this. It's going to be a great match for sure. sent to losers. It technically wasn't the first round. There was a round zero right. that Andy OCR won his first match, and then uh, Bonchan had to buy the first round, essentially. Yeah. And then Andy OCR played him and sent Bonchan to losers bracket. But since then... I'm going to tell you why Bonchan's made it here. You see that fire Red Bull <laughs> jacket he's rocking? It's like an ombre oh, down to red at the I, bottom. I thought you were talking about the hair, because look oh, at that. The, the, the hair is glowing. That's look. like... It's Red the year Bowl. of the dragon. Yeah. We know what it is. But look at that fire jacket. Look at that jacket. The back of it is so sick, actually. It's oh, crazy. Man. I was watching him play earlier, and I was so jealous. <laughs> if he has a few spares, I might ask him for them. Go up to him and just be like, you know what? Punk is not your biggest fan. I'm I your am. biggest fan. Talk to me. <laughs> Red Bull clothing is so cool, man. I swear. But yeah, that one I'm a big fan of in particular. But also, I mean, while we're talking about the sponsor, shout outs to Graft as Graf, well. Yes. Graft is, I, you know what, every event, like so many events, E3, there was, I think it was final round. A lot of times I'm at these events, their representatives will come up and talk to me and talk, tell me about Graft and, yeah. you know, the things that they do. And they're really invested in pushing totally. esports in Japan. That's why they're doing this. They have a booth here at Evo as well, so Graft's really supporting their players here, including MOV, who's made a deep run in the bracket. Right, and I'm supporting Graft too, because I even got something. Awesome. Later on. Yeah, that is good to hear. They're uh, working really hard over there. Yeah, got Much my, love to them, for sure. Here. That's pretty sick. Because Z has one on his phone that doubles as a holder and a stand. Oh, dang. So there right. you go. We got our match. <laughs> Top eight qualifier match. The threads are on point. So is the play. Counter hit at the start, and Bonchan oh cleaning up. Yeah, Bonchan with a great start. Look at this. A stun right off the bat. Yep, takes the meter as well. That tragedy assault built him bar and takes bar from MOV. Chun-Li, unfortunately, one of the, you know, a lot of the small changes together added up to much lower damage output for that oh, yeah. character. So, you know, it's definitely a little bit more difficult for her for her comeback factor. I think a lot of Chun players found this matchup to be kind of difficult by the end of Season 1. I mean, you know, not, not impossible, but 
difficult to get in on this character, right? She has a very big prop against Guile for some similar reasons. And uh, Bon Chen really showing that with his ability to kind of push this character away and really control where she wants to be at all times. Is that an E-skill anti-air? It, it looked sure like was. What the heck? I don't think I've ever seen anyone try that, but... Just raw goes with a raw bird kick, yeah. And that's the thing right there. It's like even with the V-Trigger activated, the mix-up is really tough because the overhead, which kind of opens people up, it's such a slow startup. The one hit in the critical art will do it. Yeah, and Bonchan, you can see, he's scared to throw a fireball. Oh! oh! The raw punish, reversal C, A, and that'll do it on the round. Yeah, I was about to say, I thought Bachan was going to be scared to throw fireballs. He should have been scared to do that back fist. Apparently, yeah. And uh, the immediate punish from MOV, very on point, very aware. Fishing with that back medium punch. Corner positioning now for Bonchan. Ooh! Just got hit by that. It looked like he tried to anti-air crouching medium punch just a little too late. So now, MOV with the corner position, but a little too far for that towards heavy kick. Oh, missed his combo, and there's a big punish from MOV. Chase down punish here. punishable, yeah. But good positioning now. Bonchan in there, but the big whip oh. sweep. Activation, spinning bird for the knockdown. Anything will do it now for MOV. Bonchan got to fight out of here. Full resources available. Yep, that's the scary part. Any hit, he can confirm into the critical art. Oh, He's boy, got him. Yeah, there it is, right there. Oh, into critical art. A huge pickup for Bonchan. He confirms that he gets it. It's not enough to kill. Is there a bird? No, he doesn't go all the way in. Anything will do it now. Back medium punch, hit confirm. Into that EX legs could be a problem. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what I was thinking. Random EX legs is going to be the scariest thing, but he uses it for the Ooh, ball, but he the gets whip him with punch. the standing heavy punch. This man played third strike. He knows how to hit that butt. <laughs> Got to be sure of that. Brutal. Oh, Bonchan, man. yeah, really thinking about it, was doing pretty well at keeping his composure until that moment. Man. Bonchan, who has made it all the way here from beginning of this tournament by going straight to losers. Can he keep this magical fantasy run continuing? Or is MOV just going to get in his way and crush those dreams? Close to stun. It is stun. Huge now for MOV. We'll take the knockdown and the pressure behind it. Another hit confirmed. Bonchan loses the round with a perfect MOV. One round from being in top eight here at EVO. 100% success rate. And Street Fighter V, that could be the case. He might be the only one. Yeah, exactly. There's very few people who are returning top eight qualifiers. Certainly not Punker and Uncle Dude. But MOB continuing this pressure. Gonna get thrown back into the corner. Opportunity now for Bonchan. Look at this pressure now. All these Sonic Booms and using the EX to keep himself closer to keep it going. He's gonna be able to confirm off of that. Bad news now for MOB. Trade on the sweep. He's got yeah. the pressure in the corner. Again, throw tech after that both times. Oh, there it is. That standing heavy punch again. It's a big problem now for Bonchan. The defense has gotta be super clutch here. Good block. He oh, baited the bird. Punish. He's got meter. He can cancel into the fireball here, into the confirm. Huge damage. Oh and my it's enough. God. He spent all three bars on that combo, and it was all enough. Oh my God. Gets the job done. Bonchan staying alive here, fighting for the Evo top eight spot. Okay. EX legs as a reversal punish. Crushed him. Okay. He knows how to hit that button, too. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, gets the throw. And the jump back light punch from Bonchan just to clear up the space. That's his anti-air right now because the anti-airs haven't been working very well against Chun-Li's jumping attacks. Oh, look at that stab with that towards medium punch. The whip punish again. MOB so on point with that, but now he's got to work in. Past the boom, the slide. Set up here. BD, and he gets the big combo off of it. We have another comeback in him right now. He's got full resources. If we can get a buffer, that standing medium punch maybe into the side. Ooh, middle throw. Not quite enough to kill. So dangerous. One more hit. Any hit right now will do it for MOV. Oh, it's too far. Oh, and he tried the button. MOV gets the hit. Two years in a row. Top eight.
here at Evolution, and the run from Bonchan has finally been ended. There he is on the stage. Crazy, we're gonna see him in the arena two years in a row. And Bonchan, who put in so much work, you can see it right there. There's acceptance. There's acceptance in that face, but there is no joy. No, not a single bit. That is a run for the ages, but once again, sort of like Filipino man's run from the previous years, fell one to two games short exactly. of making that top eight. That Bonch. ninth place finish, brutal for Bonchan here. And I mean, so many sets, you know, in a row, back to back to back to back to back. It's so brutal to try to do that. If you could see inside my chest right now, you would see my heart breaking right now, because that is a tough one right there. Get, get the Grinch uh, X-ray <laughs> yeah, machine exactly. so that we can see it. Absolutely oh, brutal. Man. You got to feel for Bonchan, and uh, we're gonna find someone to try to fix James's heart. Take a little break. Get that all patched up, and we'll be back with our final two matches close out Evo before our top eight. Stay tuned. Two more matches to determine our top eight here at Evo. We have six players already qualified and two of either Echo Fox, Tokido, or Graft Haitani, or and G Fuel, Verloren, or Splice F Champ. That's it, those are the last two matches to determine our top eight. And you know what, I mean, look, I know Fudo went out early, but let's talk about Haitani here really quick. Right. The consistency exactly. of this man in Street Fighter V. It's tremendous. Any, yeah, for anybody who says that you cannot be consistent in this game, Haitani is living proof. This is why he is a god, and he is proof that that is not true and that he has been so consistent. You can see how much it game. means to him there on his face. He's a family man now, you know, I feel like when you become a family man, the emotions get to you. <laughs> and uh, you can see it on his face there, it's going to be a good one, I mean. You got to be worried if you're if you're anybody against either of these players, to be honest. Yeah. Tokido's been on fire all weekend. It's terrifying uh, that these two have to fight each other to get into top eight. It just blows the mind, right? I mean, we have Haitani, who had that, he had a path to top eight that I felt he would carve his way through, mm -hmm. both him and uh, you know, Itabashi, they're on that same route together. Itabashi has made it. The question is, can Haitani make it as well? Or will it be Tokido? Yeah, we also want to talk about consistency. Let's talk about consistency for Evo for the past 15 years. That is none other than Tokido. Oh, yeah. Who has had more top eights and more games, more Evo medals than probably anybody. Yeah, I mean, it's absurd. It's so many different games. This man is a Tekken finalist, you know, he's a finalist in. 2D and 3D, he's done it all. <laughs> he is really an exceptional, extraordinary player and you know, one of the best to ever do it. All right, so, so far then, you can see them. I feel like this is a match of respect right now because they aren't really pushing too hard. You see some neutral jumps, some little footsies here, but no real big call out so far. That was the first one right there, wake up light punch. That close size mode to find the hit, but this is a matchup where you have to be very careful. Tokido playing very on point, very compact, trying to avoid it's those limbs from it's Haitani. So efficient. Oh, yeah, he's gonna. Oh, and a Tatsu from Tokido because he's a genius. He's actually super smart. It's crazy. <laughs> I mean, legit, he is actually qualified as a genius. Yeah, certified. Oh, but that, you know, that standing medium punch. Oh, yeah. He's not even going to bother with the uh, beat trigger. He yeah, just like, maybe even a little too far yeah. to get it anyway. But I feel like a very obvious choice from Tokido. And uh, apparently Haitani felt that as well. He had the block. Great punish as well. No anti-air. That is, of course, one of Tokido's slight weaknesses right there. If he even has one, is that his anti-air is not quite on point. Just yep. like that. Yeah, Got he's it. so hyper-focused on the ground game and hit confirming that oftentimes he will abandon the anti-air. That demon flip for the side switch again, very powerful tool for Tokido, and the counter hit confirmed. Oh, here we go, close to stun, and oh, now it's Tokido's turn to fade out. It's so optimal, it's absurd. Goes gets the, the roundhouse into the back throw for maximum meter gain in the stun. Oh, it's so crazy, I can't believe it. Tokido, man, this guy. PhD in maximization. I mean, in Street Fighter 4, closest he was able, ever able to get was second place in Street Fighter 4. Yeah. He wants to right that wrong and see if he can take an Evo 
And that was all the way back in 2013. You know, you got to set the stage. Last year at this time, Kokido was supposed to get second in Evo to Infiltration. He was supposed to be the only one of the only people who challenge him. Didn't even make that top eight, so. Oh, nice! Not gonna let him get away with that demon flip that time. So Tokido sitting on a lot of V-Trigger, but no resources really. And just this life deficit is intense right now. He's got V-Trigger available though. Makes Akuma dangerous. Like every button that's pushed just makes me twitch. Like seriously, I'm just like, okay. They're also dangerous now, especially from Tokido. I mean, if he lands something, it be a big problem. Ooh, okay. No, but, oh, he's going to go for a setup. What's the mix-up? Walks does down not, behind it, does not try a side switch or anything weird. He was trying Haitani to bait out an yeah. EX uppercut. For sure, and Haitani didn't take that bait. Spends out his V-Trigger there to take the chip. But, you know, to his credit, he's almost caught up in life right now. And he's been doing it slowly, but you know what? He's going to have to speed up a little bit. He has the anti-air. It's only 12 seconds. Smart! Uses the red fireball to gain a little bit of extra damage. He's got the lead. Can he back up? There's seven seconds left on the clock. Tokido running for it. He's trying to escape. Oh, nice. the champs are going to counter it! And he just, he doesn't even... Uh, I'm over. Makes it have... all the way. The timeout Ooh. from Tokido. Biting his nails the whole time. Trying to run for his life. And uh, Haitani, you have to feel miserable after that one. You know, you had to lead the whole time. Tokido, genius with the walk-up throw. And now he has one game from being eliminated from Evolution. Yeah, even cooked him a little bit with that red fireball startup so that that throw would do a little extra damage thanks to the gray help. Beautiful stuff from Tokido. And now he has taken game one in what it feels like should not have been his game at all. All right, counter, counter hit. hit. Got to confirm off of it as well. That double down medium punch, the red fireball. B skill for a little extra B gauge at the end, and he's doing great here. Tokido's got to feel good about this. Well, you know what? He made a big comeback, so he knows what's absolutely possible for Haitani. So no resting yet. Checking in with that jab, oh. and there's that fierce as well. No! Oh, he missed the anti air. He hit the button just a little too late. And look at that damage that he ate. Yeah, that wake was up. The, that uh, was the demon yeah, flip. Yeah, demon, demon flip. flip. Walk down the pressure. Tokido in good positioning. Oh, it went the wrong way. What happened there? It was just a weird position. The hurt box must have got flipped to the other side. But man, oh, the job brutal. gets done. And Tokido now on match point, trying to claw his way into Evo and Haitani. Just what is happening? This poor man. Every, nothing's going his way. <laughs> All right, well, that's a good start right there for this round. Gets him all the way to the corner and then gets Tokido to waste some more meter. Close to stun. Oh, God. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so probably going to take this round with at least very close to a perfect. Okay, he's going to get it with a perfect. So Itani's got to feel good about that one. Yeah, turned it all the way around after Tokido stealing a couple of these rounds back to back, but now. You know, still match point for Tokido. Got to feel confident in Saitani. Has a lot of meter to work with. If you're Tokido, a lot of momentum. but I mean, if you're Tokido, you think to yourself, you know what? Like in the in the giant realm of get, you know, like mix-ups, I was all wrong in that last round. So it it'll all balance out here. <laughs> yeah, if, you're, if you're right, 50% of the time that round was just a gimme. It's gonna happen eventually. <laughs> Spacing out with these fireballs. Trying to just build a little bit of meter for himself. Stay away from Haitani, who's very close to a V-Trigger himself. These characters both two of the most powerful V-Triggers in the game. Big jump over, but the light can uh, Regardless, though, now that gives him the corner pressure and a little extra, and he's going to go right into the critical arc. It wasn't a combo. The red oh, fireball no! wasn't the right one from Tokido, the big stomp. Oh, the combo. No! It's not the Phenom. It connects. It's not enough. Oh my god! Overhead! Oh! And Haitani steals it. What happened? Wrong fireball. They're both staying hydrated, of course, drinking that water. If one of them loses, though, they're going to need it a lot of it in the morning after they hit the tables tonight. That's for sure. Ninth place at Evo. A Just brutal feeling. Open their mouths and drink all the tears, dude. <laughs> yeah. See that little bobbing and weaving Tokido trying to hype himself up. It's been a long day of Street Fighter action here. Yeah, again, so much fatigue, so much energy spent, so much mental energy drained. 
match just takes a lot out of you, right? Competing at this high level and sets back to back to back, it's difficult. Tokido, you know, of course, we've got to really want this, especially after last year. He was supposed to be there in that Mandalay Bay Finals, but he just wasn't. No anti-air again. The punish on that fireball, that crashing medium punch from Nikali will do it. Out of there, but the auto crack DP chase. Beautiful. I'm sure he'll take the damage on that just to get out of the corner, though. All right, so Tokido getting in there with a the throw, but can't really get any follow-ups off of that. That's why you take the throws from Akuma in the mid-screen. Tokido going to have to work on another comeback now. He's got to watch those distances for those fireballs. Itani will trade Seismo with a fireball all day. Okay. Set up now. This time, this time he does it. Got the counter hit, and it's enough. The big confirmed Maitani match point now over Tokido after all of that. Yeah, he basically said, last time you Round thought I was going to EX Evercut, I'll do it this time. Yeah, and it was reversal timing. It was instant, and it ended up auto-correcting. Very fortunate. Oh, OK. Here's an opportunity now for Tokido. Gets Maitani into the corner. Oh, wow. Man, I thought he was going to land into the fireball, but Maitani hitting buttons. Clean uppercut again. Tokido working on a, a little bit of a lead here for himself, but it can all slip away that V-Trigger Nikali. Explosive character. Especially right there. That trade gave him the V-Trigger, so he's going to raw activate. I like that. Too many Nikali's hold on to that for way too long. Red fireball pressure advantage on block. Plus eight, the whiff punish. Oh, but the buttons from Itani couldn't confirm into the uppercut. Tried the back throw. He wanted that corner positioning, but Tokido wasn't having it. Escapes. Oh, Punish. that's going to be punishable, yes! Minus uh, five or six in this version, yeah. I think six in this version. And it's harder to make safe than it was before, exactly. if I'm not mistaken. So a brutal round. situation now, Tokido, Haitani, final round between these two, and Evo e top eight on the line. Equal resources on both players as well. So this is going to be a match about resource management right now. Okay, well, there's a great start for Tokido spending a little bit right away. But the yeah, dive kick those. is negative. Yeah, the palm is plus, dive kick is negative, so... You, know, you really got to choose one or the other. One's more evasive, the other one, advantage. One you get a combo off of. Oh, a crush counter, wow. He actually was touching a button afterwards, was trying to counter whatever Tokido was going to come out. Wow, a back heavy punch in the, in, just in the middle of neutral. Oh, got in there. Big yeah, combo. there you go. So the kick one gives him the combo. Red fireball for pressure again. Tokido with the big lead, a lot of gray, but this is an opportunity. Oh, no, it missed. It missed. Oh, my God. How much meter is he going to spend? None Nothing. of it. Anything will do it now. Tokido with the pressure of the red fireball. He made it the throw. It's enough to kill. Tokido is in top eight of Evo. And Haitani going to be sent home after all of that. He had such a, a doable path. And Tokido so elated. Very rare you see that out of him. But you can see how much it means to him. That was the only towards heavy punch I think he did that whole game, right? I think you're right, that yeah. That whole match saved it all the way until the end. It works out, and guess what? This is not an unfamiliar sentence. We've said this countless times during the course of the past decade and a half. Tokido is in top eight. He sure is, top eight of evolution here. And uh, it's in the loser's side. You can saw he went over to give a couple of handshakes after I saw, of course, it was AJ. Echo Fox, fighting game manager, of course, very elated. And Boken, the translator that they have on the team. Yes, yes. Uh, that helps out over there. So I'm sure they're very happy about it. Echo Fox uh, having a good weekend in a lot of games. But Tokido, I mean, I think this meant a lot to him. You know, oh, they really yeah, do well. Absolutely. I feel like especially if you really think about it, that Capcom Cup performance last year, that yeah. Evo performance last year, not what you expect from the guy. He had a stellar CPT season, but not performing where it counted. And uh, he's got to feel great about yeah. that.